can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. 68. Um, it says the 100 pounds door has a center of gravity at G. Determine the components of the reaction at hinges A and B. If hinges B resist only forces in the X and Y directions, and A resists forces in the X, Y, Z directions. And um, that's the pair uh, free body di free body diagram shown here. Uh, let's get started. So this is really a witty questions. Um, it tested you in your knowledge on the uh, moments can be anywhere uh, on on the body, right? So instead of you know using the x axis, we're like, oh, we can't get rid of any. You know, if we're using the x axis or the y axis, and if we use the z axis, well, we don't find anything. Right? So, you know, none of the forces acts the moment as the axis. But instead, what we can do is to draw a x axis for ourselves, but it's parallel to the original x axis. We call it the x comma, or yeah, whatever you call it, prime, x prime. And here's the y prime, right over here. So now, if we use the x well, x prime and y prime, we we'll get rid of the a, all the a forces, while still be able to use the forces at b, and using the g, right? So, to get started, let's use the x axis, um, right? So the sum of the x axis prime, the moments over here, um, yeah, that should be. Zero, the sum of that. So using the G, um, let's call it, so what's G? 100 pounds, right? 100 pounds uh, times the distance from position of the force to the x axis, and that is 18 inches times 18 inches. Uh, you can convert the unit if you want, but I'm just going to tell you in advance that uh, all the inches of the distance cancels out, so it doesn't really matter. If you're using foot pounds, or you know, we won't get to there, right? We won't be a. You don't have to convert for this problem, and that is the negative direction, right? Because this is clockwise. You're using the eye, looking from here. Well, then this force is generating a clockwise rotation, and that is a, a negative uh, forces, a rotation. I mean, torques. So that is negative. Or we can set it as on the other side of the equation equals to what's the other force that can generate a rotation, which is here, right, at um, B, uh, B in the y direction. So BY uh, times, what is it? And times the distance from here to here, that's 24 times 2, that's 48 inches. Now, so some of the moments will always be zero, at least in statics, right? So since this force is given, it's a net force, and you know it's, it's by gravity, so we'll always go down. Therefore, there must be another force counteracting this force. So we know for a fact that this force have to counteract this one because there's no any other force that can generate a moment on the x prime axis, right? So we have to, we know that we're drawing the wrong direction. In reality. B, Y should really be going to the negative direction of the Y axis, right? So this way it would equal to zero, you know, unless otherwise we have to write it as a negative. So, you know, you know, so in the end, B, Y would equal a negative number. You can do it that way and then change the direction if it's in a negative, right? A negative, if it's negative, then draw the opposite of the original direction in your body diagram, free body diagram. I hope that makes sense. Um, so 18 times... 100, that's 18, 100, that's 18,000 uh, inches times new pounds times inches, and by uh, times 48 inches. You divide it by the inches, so it cancels out. Um, by should give you uh, 37.5 uh, pounds. Okay. So let's write it over here. So 37.5. Point five pounds, and um, let's use uh, y prime using some of the moments in 
y prime equals zero. Well, well, in this case, what's generating a force, right? The a ax is generating a force, uh, gen could generate a moment, times the distance 24 times 2 times 2, give us 0. Well, ax will just be 0, right? Because there's no any other force, so ax has to be 0, uh, zero newtons. Well, if that's the case, then Bx must be equal to zero because there's no any other forces that counteracting um, the Bx. So B, yeah, Ax equals to Bx. So Bx will always also has to be zero uh, newtons. What the heck? Here we go, Naruto. And Ay is going upwards, and the only other force that's going counteracting Ay. Uh, is the g force, right? So Ay equals to the force at g, which is also 30, 37.5, uh, sorry, not newtons, um, pounds, pounds, 37.5 pounds. Wait. That my bad. AZ should be 37.5 pounds. AY and BY equals the same. AZ equals, sorry, AZ. Yeah, AY is the same as B, BY. So that's 37.5 and AZ. Sorry, I first, for one second my brain went to 2D and I thought two AY was the going upwards. Um, so A, sorry, AZ is counteracted only by AG, right? That is uh, 100 pounds as stated in the question. So AZ should be 100 pounds. And sorry, A, uh, BY is counteracting B, uh, B, AY. AY is counteracting BY. And there's no any other forces going into the right direction. So these two forces must be equal to the same. So here we go. A uh, relatively easy one, except it requires you to think outside the box, right? Creating a new set of axes uh, by your own to be able to solve this problem. Uh, but once you see that, it should be pretty straightforward and just using, using the axis, axis uh, using the axis moments methods to solve the rest of the unknowns. So yeah, hopefully this uh, video was a help, and um, I'll see you around. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.